They have made a commitment to increase community access and non-traditional employment opportunities for people in our community. Here now representing the Crow at 110, our Employment Services Manager, AJ Zwetler, and Alicia Martin, Community First Direct Support Professional. We're happy to have both of you. Welcome. Yes, thank you very much. Okay, us. tell us all about the Crow at 110, what your organization's all about. So what we do at the Crow is we support artists in our community that have intellectual and developmental disabilities. Uh, we recognize that creativity is important to maintain connection with your with your community. Um, so we're going to be having um, all of these these wonderful items made by the people we support um, available during uh, an upcoming open house. Um, so the, the artists we support are, are busy doing a lot of different things. Um, they're making uh, wood crafts. So we have these lovely little gift boxes this year. Some fun um, holiday decor. Yeah, and Love these, it. we 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 are 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 helping people uh, realize their their creative uh, potentials um, and we want to collaborate with with other artists uh, so we're we're inviting everybody uh, from the community to come in um, on uh, December 3rd uh, Sunday December 3rd uh, from 11 to 5 to come shop uh, and meet people and uh, just see what we've been doing so meet uh, the artists yeah, yeah. exactly so uh, anything from wood crafts so we've got people making these candles and soaps and wax melts uh, and it's just been a, a, a wonderful opportunity for us to, to help people realize their artistic potential. Yes. Alicia, tell me about your role, what you do. Um, so I actually am the person who works one-on-one -on -one with people making candles. Um, I actually have since passed that job to a newer staff member, but I still do help here and there. Um, I also help support people in more day-to-day -day activities like um, making the art that we are going to be selling, whether whether that's painting, drawing, these beautiful things that we make. Um, we I have an example behind you as well yeah, of something that they've made. We've even got people who are um, writing poetry and selling poetry books at the open house as well. So any kind of gift you're looking for, your needs will be met at our open house. Now, this is a partnership with Developmental Services Center, or Correct. is this just kind of like um, just kind of like an under the umbrella? How, do, how yeah, would you say? It, the Crow is its own thing, but we are supporting people um, who receive services at DSC. Um, and um, helping them connect to each other and the community through art. So um, anybody who is interested in coming and teaching a class at the Crow uh, to the people we support, uh, we really want it to be a community space. Um, so yeah, uh, we're, we're affiliated with Developmental Services Center. But you're your own own yeah, entity, yeah, pretty sure. much. And you're doing great work helping support people yeah. who may need a little extra um, help when it comes to employment. So this is a great outlet. Alicia, if people are interested and they want to learn more about um, DSC or the Crow at 110 or getting in on the open house, what's the best way for them to do that? So we actually have our website. Um, it is through DSC's website, but there's a page that's the Crow 110 and we keep an updated list of everything we have for sale. And I am aware that we also post updates on Facebook as mm -hmm. well so you, if you follow the Facebook page you'll get notifications on sales special events that we do um, you know sometimes we might have pop-up events where we go sell items at other you know other places right? markets things like that okay being the candle gal what's what's your favorite scent that you helped create so my favorite is actually not here it's the honeysuckle oh. and jasmine scent and then my second favorite is sweater Ooh. weather and oh. um, what's really cool is these <laughs> labels I actually worked with somebody we support to design those so they hand drew these labels out and I worked with them on the computer to make what they wanted on the candle label. Wow. Well, this is so neat, and it's going to be a great opportunity for people to come and support others and meet the artists yeah, behind absolutely. the absolutely. art. Absolutely. Thank you so much for yeah, coming. Thanks for having us. Okay, really quickly, it's happening when? Where? Uh, it's going to be Sunday, uh, December 3rd from 11 to 5. Okay, and there it is, right there on your screen. And if you want to learn more about the Holiday Open House, we, of course, will connect you at sandliving.tv after today's show. Thank you all so much. Thank you.